Hey everybody, Steve, just a little red up on the mountain today. I'm indoors today. It's a pretty nice day, but I had to take old care of the wonder dog down there to get her, uh, you know, her thing where she ain't gonna have no puppies. So uh, she's laid up. She's in there, just sort of got her back and just sort of in the house, keeping an eye on her, make sure she don't tear out from where she had a little incision done. Well, I had a good day the other day. Old fella give me a bunch of strawberries. Now up here, strawberries, you ain't gonna find none right now because it's still too cold. If you go south of here, them strawberries is pretty good looking strawberries and he uh, got a whole crates of them. Or they just picked here in the last week or so. So uh, I thought, well, I ain't ain't far. If I'm gonna be in the house, yeah, I got strawberries, i will make a pie. <laughs> so we got everything we need. Now I don't know how to make no cobbler, well, I'll be honest with you, I can figure it out. Because I got the internet. Went on there and looked and uh, saw this lady's recipe. We're going to make us a little cobbler right now. We got us a bowl. I got my oven heating with my butter in my little square dish. Got to sit on 350 degrees. I think that's what she said to set it on. So my butter's going. Got us a cup of sugar. cup of flour. That's a little mixing bowl right here. And we got us a cup of milk. Now she said she uses whole milk. Well, the one thing I do try to hold back on and I got 2%. That's all I got. She said to do that. She said whisk it all together. We'll see how it turns out right here. Get it all mixed. See, it's just an old mixing bowl. Got a whisk. She said to mix it. I guess this is what's going to make the crust. Like I said, it's still wintertime here. I ain't quite got in the spring yet. Man pop up here with some fresh strawberries from down south. Well, I ain't going to turn it down. You know me. But, uh, like I said, I made a blackberry pie. I made one of them kind that was latticed across the top of it. Turned out real pretty. I apparently didn't get enough sugar in it because it still had the old, still had the old bitter taste. Well, it probably uh, pound of strawberries are better. I got them uh, cut up in the refrigerator right now. Got them in a bowl. Them slice pretty small. I'll show you here in just a minute. She said to cut them up, get all my green ends of them off and everything, and uh, put a little sugar on there. Let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour. That's what will make some juices and sweeten them up a little bit. Oh, look at bad right there. Cup of flour, cup of milk, cup of sugar. And it's vanilla extract. I don't know what it does. She said to put it in there. Well, I ain't one to argue. Used to in my old days. I'd argue like a fool. Just a teaspoon. That's a teaspoon right there. If we can get a teaspoon to pour in there. Look at that right there. That's a teaspoon. I don't know what vanilla extract does. But getting back, years ago I used to argue Bill. Just Bill. You yeah, know, just, all right, all right. Not anymore. She says to put it in. I'm putting it in. Let's mix it up like a little cake batter. Looks pretty cool. I might become a cooker one of these days yet whatsoever. We're going to learn. Now, that right there is going to be all the crustiness to it. You know how you get one that's got that little uh, golden brown flavor and everything? Let's get a pan. It's not a pan. It's a, a glass. I guess it is a pan, but it's glass. It ain't metal. That's going to set it right here. Some heat to it. Son of a gun. I need another glove. That right there. I don't know if you can see that. A little glass pan. Put one whole stick of butter in it. Eight tablespoons, I believe, is what it comes out to be. And get all that mixed up. And she said, just pour it right in there. She said, don't stir it. She said, just pour it. She said everybody wants to stir it in. But she said just pour it in there. Fight off the 
hers don't want to stir. Well, I ain't gonna stir. I'm just gonna pour it right in there like she said. And right there. Cup of flour, cup of sugar, cup of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that's apparently the crust. So, we got everything ready. Let me get my strawberries, and I'll show you my strawberries. That's my strawberries. Cut them up earlier in the day. These old strawberries. They're regular old strawberries. They look pretty good. I've let them set in there, and they got a little juice in there starting to come out. And she said, like I said, don't even stir it. Just leave it the way it mixed out. She said, lower them strawberries right in there. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to spoon them right in. Like I said, y'all saw my little, little pies and stuff like that I make. They don't take a whole lot of effort. But these right here are supposed to be some kind of cobbler. I guess it's called a cobbler because it's got a crust and all that stuff, flour and everything. You know, I bought all them store bought ones. You know what I'm at? Yeah, I don't know how many all these on. I might have had more than a pound. Well, that's a lot of strawberries right there. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, a lot of strawberries. I don't think I quite. All right. I don't think I'm gonna quite put them all in there. Just make sure you get all the juice to flow in there. That's it right there. I don't know how it's gonna do. I think I might have made too many strawberries. Yeah, a couple of extra strawberries ain't gonna hurt nothing. Well, that's where we're at right there. We got our flour, our butter, our milk, our sugar, and our strawberries with a little bit of sugar sitting in the refrigerator. We're gonna put this in the oven she said 45 minutes. Let's try it out and let's see what it does. You can hear the timer going up. Let's see how fast I can get this thing up in 45 minutes. That's 45 minutes sitting on the timer. She said it might run up to 55 or so or something like that. But that's gonna be my strawberry cobbler. While I was down there waiting on my dog to get ready to pick her up, we got me some ice cream, some vanilla ice cream. So if this works out tonight, I'm gonna have a strawberry cobbler and some vanilla ice cream. I don't think I said vanilla ice cream. Y'all hang loose, I'll be back. Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. We'll see if it's gonna work real good. Yeah, like I said, you never know what's going to happen. i see you in a little bit. Hey, everybody. We're back. We got our pie done. See that right there? That's strawberry pie. Strawberry cobbler. What do you want to call it? That right there. Look at that. Boy, that looks pretty good right there, don't it? Now, you heard everything. It said 45 minutes. Well... It wound up being a little hour or so. I don't know whether my oven's different than that lady's oven or what, but that's what it looks like. Let's make us a little bowl full. Shoot, I got a spoon. I got us a spoon. I'm going to cut us a little corner section right here and scoop it out. Maybe. Maybe. Well, let me do it again. It busted all the pieces. And it's gonna go right in there. Look at that right there. That's what it looks like. Got a little steam coming off of it. Got us a little ice cream too. How's the ice cream scoop? Everybody needs a good ice cream scoop. Had that for a long time. Yeah. Look at that right there. You got some strawberry pie, cobbler, whatever you want to call it, and some vanilla ice cream. Might have worked out pretty good. We're going to sit down here and try it. It's really good. 
Now I'm going to eat it all. Yeah, if it's okay, I might share it. I'm Steve. I'm just a little red. Free strawberries. Duck through the cabinet. Got some flour. Self-rising flour. Remember that. Not all purpose. Self-rising. I'm just a little red. Now I'm going to eat a strawberry cobbler and some ice cream up on the mountain today. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Need all I can get. I'll see you later. Strawberry cobbler and ice cream. It's a good night. I see. Y'all have a good one.